What's up, Internet? Kevin here with TLD. Now, for those of you that didn't know, today was Xbox's big update to their interface. Uh, now, it took a little longer for them to implement than they'd planned. They were aiming to release it this morning. Uh, most people didn't start getting it until about a few hours ago. In fact, I just got it about half an hour ago, so I'm on the later end of some people. Now, of course, one of the first big noticeable changes is the interface itself. Uh, they've gone from the sort of row design with different sections that they had before to a now sort of boxed page design. So you have different pages you go through with little box segments of what you want to select. They also now have a dedicated apps section. So things like Netflix, Last.fm, they're all grouped together. Each of these apps has received a bit of a facelift and a change, and we're also seeing the addition of a few new ones. Now today we saw the addition of two new apps, the first of which is Epix, which is another option for streaming movies, which doesn't appear to be working at this exact moment just yet. Uh, the app's there and you can download it, but once you launch it there are no movie selections to choose from. As well as the addition of Today, which is sort of like a little news app that just has little clips you can watch from recent events. Now there are a lot more apps they are planning to launch by the end of the month. If you actually go to the My App Store, you can check out all the different ones they say are coming soon which includes things like YouTube, MSNBC, HBO, or even sci-fi. And depending on what country you're in, you might see a few other channels or a few different editions, such as BBC. Now, one big thing that Microsoft really wants to push with this update is Bing integration, which basically allows you to use Bing to search all relevant media content for different terms. So for instance, if you look at something like Skyrim, you'll see different DLC add-ons, the game itself, or even trailers for the game. Or if you look at other terms that have both movies and video games linked to them, you can see them all together. I find it to kind of be a bit of an odd add-on because for the most part, you could find most things you were looking for before easily just by browsing through the relevant sections, but some people may find that it makes things a little easier to search for. And if you have a Kinect, you'll also be able to access Bing via voice commands. So you can just do something like, say, Xbox, Bing, uh, search for whatever it is you're looking for at the time. Now, as far as actual gaming relevant updates go, there are two very interesting new additions. First off, now everyone has access to a 512 megabyte cloud storage. Basically what this means is, is that when you have saved data for a game, you can choose to actually upload it onto the internet. That way, when you access through someone else's Xbox, you can download it through your profile. Uh, this is actually really cool because that means that you can go to a friend's house and still access your saved data to play your parts of the games, or if you guys want to pick up a co-op match at someone else's house. The other addition is what they're referring to as beacons, which is basically a way for you to tell everyone when, hey, look, I want to play this game right now. So instead of just waiting to see other people playing games relevant to you, you can actually make a big post that all your friends see that, hey, you're really looking to find someone to fight in, say, Street Fighter or Marvel vs. Capcom or Modern Warfare 3. Uh, it's just an easier way to be able to try and make some matchmaking with friends. So that's just a quick little overview of all the different new additions in today's patch. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like the new changes? Do you miss the old interface? Do you like some of the new apps? Are you looking forward to some of the new ones? How do you guys feel about the major changes to Xbox Live? So let me know what you guys think in the comments section. As always, guys, thanks for watching our vids. If you want to be extra awesome, make sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time.